All right, Double Dippers, today we are back at Flamingo Crossing and we are here doing the campus tour. Right now we are in the 1200 square foot fitness center. Very nice. One thing that they just told us is that each machine has a QR code to show you how to properly operate each machine. That's a very nice feature. So this is the community center. We've got hand shuffleboard. They have this nice piece of art that's, uh, it's a small world. It's fabrics from each country. And this one tells you where each is from. A couple of portholes on a plane. Arcade machine. Foosball. Scrabble. Ping pong, pool. Then those are the rooms I showed earlier on the tour. Back there is a window where you rent stuff. There's these touch screens that you can play on. Upstairs is the gym. Oh, it's raining again. Anyway, I didn't show much because they didn't really show us much. They took us over to the uh, package pickup area. Um, I will go back over here because I didn't get a good video of it. They said that this was their central park. They said uh, they they said that the, I'm going to take this off because I'm outside. Um, they said that they uh, talked to 2,600 students to go about building this place and ask them what they wanted. And one was an outdoor commons area. They also have these two quiet like seating areas. One's outside the gym and one's outside at the apprentice hall. The pool. On each side. And these are Hi How Are You artwork from the Hi How Are You project. And if you want to read more, take a moment and read this pack. But I really enjoyed these. Obviously, um, this character is famous for his appearance on the Daniel Johnston album. <clears throat> One interesting thing they told us is each building is named after a mentor in the Disney canon. And uh, one of them is Edna Mode. This is, I believe, is the Edna Mode building. Um, they also had a couple others. I can't remember them off the top of my head. But, yeah, they didn't show us all oh, Bagheera. They didn't show us an awful lot, but they said that there was the uh, great lawn that is over on the other side of the apprentice hall, um, which I believe I'll be going to tomorrow because um, I have a class, um, I'm not sure if class is the right word, um, an event that I signed up for over there. Anyway, I'm going to head back out to the car at this point. And um, we might go to the parks, but it's also raining, so not going to be the most pleasant experience. Another interesting thing I learned is I will have my traditions at the normal place, Disney University, whereas some people actually have to come here, which I think, I can't say much because I've never been here for traditions, but the traditional place for traditions is Disney University. So I'm very excited that I'm having it at the traditional location and not here. All right, Double Dippers, it's really been one of those days. Um, trying a new feature on the GoPro. So uh, let me know how this looks. And I walked to the wrong car that I did not have the keys for. But um, I got home from taking that tour this morning. And as you can see, it's night. Um, it's been raining and cold all day. Kona has been sick. So 
going to the store now to go get some him some medicine um but that just means that we didn't do anything today I didn't vlog today a lot of resting for kona and um just taking care of him today so with that being said i'm gonna take you along with me to walmart i guess that happened today is and look at that terrific lighting one interesting thing that happened today is that the magic kingdom was closed at 4 30 and this was for a cast member event um of which we're not invited because we're not cast members technically yet um but this said cast member event was supposed to start at 4 30 well due to the inclement weather because it's really cold and rainy um they canceled that event i'm not sure if they postponed it or whatever but because we're not we don't have access to that information yet but uh, it didn't happen today but the park still closed at the 4 30 time um which i thought was interesting i guess because they couldn't just get people to show up for work when nobody had been scheduled yet so that was very interesting um the it's like 7 30 8 o'clock now so um all the parks are about to close so there's not really time because i was making dinner at home while i run to walmart and um so there's not really time to go to the parks today or we'd be doing something like that but also it's rent cold and rainy so we don't want to make kona any more sick so hopefully um he's just got a 24 hour thing like uh anna had yesterday because anna wasn't feeling great um hopefully that's the case and we'll all be good tomorrow and hopefully it's not gonna be cold and rainy tomorrow it's supposed to be overcast with a chance of rain of about 60 percent which in florida that's a pretty good chance just because it rains all the time here um but we're just we're just holding on hope we're not supposed to have a sunny day until this saturday and today officially marks the first week we've been here so hoping to get some sun hoping that forecast change changes but i don't think it's going to one interesting thing is apparently it's the wild west of buggies out here people are just throwing their buggies everywhere i would not i try to park a little ways away so i don't want one of those to come crashing into my car also living next to a disney has its challenges because everybody goes to the same stores as you which makes it almost impossible to find a parking spot when you just want to go get some groceries whereas back home we didn't have that problem all right we've gotten our mission accomplished got all the baby stuffs now we just have to check out and the line for some reason is to the back of the store and all the way across don't know what that's about all the way down down the whole store looks like they're setting up new scan and goes but that's the line all the way down and around so the line is just crazy long as i try to show you um so i'm going to go to a different store either publix or another walmart down the street so get back to you then yeah that's a that's a madhouse over there so we're heading out all right, Double Dippers, we did end up going to Walmart. We got stuff we needed. Um, we had dinner. Kitchen's a little messy right now. Um, we, get, we get around to that. Um, we'll clean up all that after Conan goes to bed. Honest putting him to bed right now. And um, I guess that's it for today. I tried something a little different by not just videoing the most exciting stuff, by videoing like us actually going to Walmart and, you know, trying to do life stuff on camera because that's something I haven't done before because I haven't been a daily vlogger. I've been a vacation vlogger. So I um, hope you enjoyed. Tell us what you think. It feels a little too crazy or weird. Still getting used to it. But I would just like to say, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. We actually have a Patreon now, which you can find in the description. If you like to give a little bit each month 
really help us out. Um, and you will also get a shout out at the end of the video. You'll there'll be credits, and we'll put your name in the credits. And you can message us through the live chat in Patreon. So those are all benefits that you get from supporting us. Um, anyway, if you like to do that. If not, you can always like and subscribe. That always helps the channel. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow.